Hi there, I am Amit Bansal from MailSmartly.com. Today in this video, I am going to share my top 7 tricks and tips of Outlook. I personally use these tricks to make my work smooth and faster. So let's get started. Tip number 1. How to turn off notification in Outlook. When you receive a new message, you will get an email notification. It is helpful for most of the users, but sometimes it will create a problems for you. So for that, click on File tab, Options, Outlook Options dialog box appear. From the left navigation section, click on Mail. And from the right, scroll down to Message Arrival. There are a few options, Play a Sound, Briefly change the mouse pointer, show an envelope icon in the taskbar, display a desktop alert. Uncheck all the options to turn off your notification. I recommend to keep this option, show an envelope icon in the taskbar. It will help you to just get you a small notification in the shape of envelope whenever you get a new message. Then simply click OK. And your new email notification is turned off. Tip number two, email format. Whenever you like to create an email message with a huge content and multiple attachments, you will create like this. I have pasted a huge content and I have also attached multiple attachments in the mail. But whenever I send this email, to my colleague or to my boss, it is very difficult to understand which attachment he like to open first and which atta attachment he like he must open second. Basically, the attachment will be open according to the content. So, if I change this format according to the reading pattern, so he can easily open the attachment after reading a specific content. So I have to format, change the format of this email. So click on format text and there is HTML already by default selected. So I have to change it to rich text. When I change it to rich text, all my attachments disappear from the attachment and fall in the body. So now I have to drag my attachment one by one to their specific location see like this this attachment is like this so whenever my reader read this uh, email he automatically understand that after this paragraph he need to open this attachment then he need to move forward tip number three switch tab whenever i use microsoft outlook there are multiple things like email calendar to-do list available in Outlook. Whenever I like to switch it, I have to manually go to the mail when I like to mail, click on calendar when I like to open the calendar. There is a shortcut key available in Outlook which help you switch instantly. So that is control one for mail and control two for calendar. You can again click Control one to go back to email. Tip number four, pop out. When you receive a new message in your inbox and you like to reply it, what are you going to do? Click on it. Here, your mail opens. Here, click reply. And you simply type the content and send, click send button. But it's a very narrow space. So what you can do to keep this mail broad, or keep this mail to the different window, click on pop out options available here. As soon as you click on pop out, your mail open in a different window. You can type your content, you can add your signature and simply click send button. Tip number five, show number of items available in the folder. When you open Outlook, you can see a specific number of items seen in the blue color this number shows only those emails which are unread if you want to check out or all the items available in the folder whether they are read or unread all you have to do is to 
click right mouse button on the folder go to properties and here you have to click show total number of items and simply apply and click ok now this figure changes to 310 that means there are total of 310 items available in this folder tip number five undo your message if you are an outlook web user you can reverse your email after you send it now how it works click on new message type the email address of your recipient type the subject if you like to type the matter type it and simply click send as soon as you click send button your message is sent but in case of microsoft web there is a fraction of time you get you can reverse the message or undo your message if you forget to add or forget to type something in your mail so i will show you how it works i just click send button and here you can see a section here you can click undo as soon as i click undo my message again jump to it to its original nature tip number seven add a specific folder to your favorites in this case when you are using multiple emails and you are expecting a specific email in your inbox or your specific folder and you want to scroll down and down and you find out that specific folder instead you can add that specific folder to your favorites so how you can do that so i have one email and i have already created some folders and i want this ezoic folder added to my favorite so how i can do that so just click on this ezoic folder click right mouse button and here is an option add to favorites as soon as i click on it automatically this ezoic folder added in my favorite section i can instantly check out that folder without scrolling down and finding that folder and if you want to remove this folder from your favorites you have to again click on this folder click right mouse button and click remove to favorites that folder automatically removed from this folder section if you like all the tricks and trips and you have some suggestions you can surely leave your comment below thanks for watching